What's up? So today we're going to do um, a little bit of speed testing. I got the chronograph set up over here and we're gonna be testing for 11 millimeter steel. And the reason is because 11 mil is typically my hunting setup. So I like the 11 mil steel, nice big heavy ammo. And uh, we're gonna be using the torque because this is definitely going to be in the kit for my hunting. Um, what we're gonna do is actually, I, I have a, a new experiment that I'm gonna do. So I have different bands that we're gonna test. A whole bunch of different um, brands and a few different sizes. And we're also gonna test a 25 to 19 taper and a, I'm sorry, it's a 25 to 20 taper and a 24 to 15 taper. And I wanna test those for a couple of different things. One, I wanna test how fast that ball's actually moving. And the other thing I wanna test is the speed that I'm getting out of each of those bands and if the taper makes that big of a difference. Um, I think that the tapers are gonna make that big of a difference, especially in the draw weights. But unfortunately, I lost my luggage scale. So we're not gonna give you exact draw weights, but I'm gonna be able to tell you if it's heavy or not heavy or, you know, is the Simple Shot .7 with a 25-20 taper. Two forty two again. Two fifty. Two fifty three. I have yet to hit that can, man. It's hard to control. These bands are heavy. These are the Simple Shot .7, tapered from 24 to 15. .244, much lighter draw weight on these. 47. 248. 250. 242. I would highly, highly prefer these. <laughs> They're much lo much uh, lighter draw weight. You can still see me shaking. Part of that's because I did a pretty good upper body workout this morning, but um, did a little lifting, so I'm a little bit weak. But yeah, these are much, much lighter draw weight. You can tell, and uh, they're getting pretty good speed on them, I'd say. All right, the next ones that I got up are these random yellow bands that I got from a buddy of mine. Thank you, Andy. These are .8. I, I do not know what brand they are, and uh, Andy also could not remember what brand they are. And I'm yellow, 2520. So they're a lot lighter to draw. They're probably a few pounds have, or lighter. Um, and they're easily just as fast, if not faster. So then for the third random yellow, we have a 2415 taper.
48. Forty-nine. Much lighter draw weight on this one. Two forty-six. Two forty-four. Two forty-seven. So we're losing about ten feet per second, but. Obviously, we're a lot more accurate. I hit the can like three times, and uh, still pretty fast. On 11 millimeter steel, traveling 245 feet per second is pretty good. All right, we're gonna try this third band. Is a brand of band that I bought off Amazon. I don't know what the brand is. I'll try to find the link for it and put it in the description. So, I'll put the brand in the description. I don't know what it is, um, but this is the 25 to 20 cut and it's 0.75 mil thick. Forty-seven, two fifty-one, two fifty. Not bad speeds on those. Not bad at all. Okay, this is the twenty-four fifteen taper with weird Amazon brand no name point seven five bands. Forty-two. That was very, very nice to draw, by the way. Oh my god. Two thirty-four. Two thirty-seven. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-nine, so definitely a drop off in speed. But these are the nicest bands to draw and shoot so far. They have, they must have quite a bit more stretch ratio than I thought they would. Um, they're shooting very nice. They're shooting very nice. All right, next up are the uh, Falcon White point seven five. Got high hopes for these, although I haven't done any chronograph testing on any Falcon band that's bigger than 0.65 yet. We're going to test the Falcon 0.75. Oh yeah, good taper on these. Falcon 0.75 white uh, taper from 2520. Thirty-six. So not the fastest bands in the world. Um, they're actually, I think, the slowest ones we've tested so far. Okay, so now we'll go to the Falcon 0.75 white 24 to 15 taper. Man, I wish I had my scale because these feel so light. Thirty-three. Oh, so light. Two thirty-four. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-six. Two thirty-seven. 
These are so much nicer to shoot. Two thirty one again. Two thirty four. So this band taper from 2415 is actually much lighter and it's almost as fast as the 25 to 20 taper. So 24 to 15 with the Falcon White would be my preference because it's much lighter, easier to shoot, and it uses less latex so you can actually get more bands out of your latex roll. And they're basically just as fast. So. Okay, so next up is another uh, random roll of this yellowish band that uh, my buddy Andy also gave me. And uh, it's also a .8, but it's a different, slightly different color, it's more orangey. Um, so we're going to test this one out. This is the 2520. 245. 41. It's actually pretty decent to draw, pretty nice to shoot. 246. 245. 247. Not bad speed either. These are actually pretty nice. This is something I wouldn't mind shooting at all, actually. I think the draw feels good on them, and uh, the speed's decent. I mean, 240s, 245-ish probably. I'm um, just guessing. I'll put the obviously the average speed on each of these on the screen, but uh, they're not bad at all. I, I kind of like these. So then let's go ahead and we'll do the same band, random yellow number two. This is the 24 to 15 taper. And I know this doesn't help anybody to not know what brand band this is, but this is a, as much for my own personal reference as anything. And it's sort of just me testing out which bands I'm going to be using for hunting. So if random yellow number two wins, then they win, and you guys are on your own with that. But <laughs> Okay, 2415 taper. Ooh, 242. Not bad. 236. 239. 238. 234. Not bad. Not bad speed at all. It's pretty comparable to the Falcon stuff, I'm not going to lie. Although, again, I wish I had my scale because I'm pretty sure these are heavier. Um, the Falcon band seemed very, very light for a .75 band. Next up is the last of the three different rolls that my buddy Andy gave me. This is a .9 thickness. Let's try the .9. These are .9 orange, we'll call them. I don't know what brand they are. This is the 20th. This is the 25 to 20 taper. 241. These are actually very nice, very pleasant to shoot. Slipped out of the clip there a little bit. Follow me for any length of time, you'll know that I hate clips. I, I just hate them. The only reason I'm using them is because I think that it's going to be a little bit easier to change these bands over and over again without having to do a wrap and tuck every time. 245. 241. 
142, that ball went right through the middle hole in the can. And 242 again. I like these bands, although they're not nearly as fast as some of the other ones we tried, and they're much thicker. They're pleasant to shoot, though. They're very nice. Okay. This is the .9 orange, random orange. Uh, 2415 taper. That's much, much lighter. Two thirty-nine. Very nice to shoot, though. It's very pleasant to shoot. Two thirty-nine again. Two thirty-eight. Two thirty-seven. Aside from the fact that these continue to slip out of the clips, they're actually not bad bands at all. They have a very slick feel to them. I don't know. These would be a contender for sure. I wouldn't mind shooting these at all. I would have to wrap and tuck them though because because they're very slick. The feeling of them is very slick, and they're slipping out of the clips. So the next band we're going to test is the Shishu, 0.8, uh, this is 25 to 20, 248, 245, Two forty four. And we're going to go to the twenty four fifteen taper. Two forty eight. Two forty one. Two thirty four, two thirty five, two thirty six. Not bad, not bad. Shishu are decent bands. Next up, we got the Falcon Yellow. This is point seven five, and we're going to shoot the twenty five to twenties. Seven two thirty six two thirty two two thirty eight. Two thirty seven. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. Got a bunch of squirrels around the house and they've been getting into my roof fascia and tearing it up, making nests and stuff, so hunting season might come a little earlier this year. So these are these falcon are by far the lightest of any of the bands that I've shot so far. All right, 24 to 15 taper. 243, oh my God. 241, this taper is even better. 
238. Two forty four, two forty one. All right, we got one band left. This is the simple shot point eight. All right, simple shot point eight, twenty five to twenty. Hopefully, we save the best for last here. Two sixty three. God, I can barely draw that. I have these maxed out, absolutely maxed out. 243, that's weird. 250. 259. 244. Hmm. Kind of all over the board, huh? All right. Last one. Simple shot. Point eight. 24 to 15. 251. 250. Much lighter draw weight on these. 252. 250. That went in the middle of the can again. In the hole in the middle. 254. And they have to average out the, the wider taper. But I'm pretty sure the 2415 taper wins, if for no other reason than because it's lighter. It's a lighter draw weight. But yeah, that's it, man. Good. Uh, it took me a good while, and the reason is because I didn't want to use up a whole bunch of pouches, so I was trying to reuse the same pouch. So in between each band, I would go cut the pouches off, tie them onto the new band. <laughs> Anyway, um, take what you will from these um, bits of speed testing because obviously people are going to have preferences for different band types and brands and colors and all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, for me, I know that I like stretchier bands. The stretchier bands that I used today were definitely the Falcon band was probably the stretchiest band that I have. Um, and because of that, I had more room to draw it back. I could have probably cut them even a little bit shorter. Um, again, experimenting with these things, it's like you you got to re realize the different brands, you need to cut at different lengths to match your draw length. I've also been shooting a lot with, with a longer draw. It's like kind of a here type situation. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but that adds a tremendous amount of speed. Actually, I should go grab a... All right, so this band set is set up for a long draw. And it's a .6 Falcon. And this has a very narrow taper from 21 to 14, okay? So I'll shoot again the 11 mil steel longer draw 0.6 remember it's 0.6 band two forty two thirty five two forty so you can see that extra draw length, and this is such a light, this is by far the lightest band I've shot on this video. Not even close, not even close. I mean, I could hold it there for 20 minutes if I wanted to. I mean, these are super light, but they add so much more speed with the extra draw length, and it's not even that aggressive of a taper. I'm sure that if I cut it 24 to 15 taper with this band set, 
with these .6 and I use the longer draw, I'm sure I would be getting 250, 255, no problem. So again, experiment for what works for you. I'm really liking the longer draw. I'm feeling really good about my um, my ranges and my anchor points and my reference points. And um, I, I made this design of slingshot. I've made a couple of these lately because it has a, a little bit more narrow fork gap. Or I'm sorry, the fork gap is a little wider than my Yeti, but the fork width is a little bit more narrow. And I made it like that on purpose because I constantly shoot low with a wider fork gap. So I narrowed the fork gap a little bit so that the ball would go a little higher. And I'm, I'm finding that that's a lot more comfortable for me. Anyway, I know I'm rambling now, but uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching a lot. Um, I'm going to go back and kind of review and make sure that I decide which of the bands I actually really did like and what speeds are acceptable for what. And, um, you know, playing with your setup is always good. Uh, evolve with things, you know, change with things and make sure that you're, you're using the right gear for you. But um, again, I'm rambling again, but I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>